it's the return of the quad. Hello guys, this is my review of the 2010 uh, men's figure skating short program. Basically, uh, there's two programs in figure skating for men. There's a short program, which usually consists of about three jumps and some other elements. And the long program, which is usually a minute or so longer, or maybe two, I'm not quite sure. But we just saw the short program last night. Uh, Pachinko, this Russian guy who, he's not just a Russian guy, he won, he's an Olympic champion. He won gold in 2006 in, in Torino. And uh, I, he... He's a really cool guy, you know, he doesn't, he speaks a little English, his English is a bit broken, but, you know, I respect the fact that he even tries to speak English, because trying to learn Russian when you speak English, and vice versa, it's definitely got to be a difficult thing. This guy, they had a little fluff piece on him, and, you know, you can tell this guy was really, really driven, because the guy retired after he won the Olympic gold, and then he came back. Well, anyway... He skated earlier in the program, and he, earlier in the competition, and he really surprised everybody. He had a score of 90.85 or something like that. It was extremely high. And um, I was surprised by um, one Japanese skater also came close to him. Uh, he finished third, and um, Evan Lysenchek, the American, finished second. He, I mean, they, these guys are within one point of one another. They both scored about 90, a little over 90 uh, somewhere between 90 and 91, you know. I mean, that's how close these guys are at this point. So we have an American in the top three. Johnny Weir skated fairly well. He was in the 80s. He, he did a, a pretty good um, performance. We didn't see any disasters or anything from Johnny Weir, which is good. He, I thought it was a pretty solid program. Uh, Jeremy Abbott. Uh, he's the U.S. champion. He just won the U.S. championship. And wow. He singled his triple axle, and he doubled his triple lux, I believe, or loop. Very rough, very rough program. I didn't even get a chance to see his scores, and to be frank with you, ju judging by his reaction uh, <laughs> later on, I'm glad I didn't see the scores, because uh, the guy was in tears, and I see why. Because at this point, he's pretty much out of the competition. It's kind of hard to make up 10... 15 points in figure skating. I mean, you know, most of the skaters are pretty much in the 80s and the 90s. Well, 80s and 90s at this point. And, uh, you know, it's hard to really make up that. So he's not going to medal. And it's, it has to be difficult to skate knowing that you don't have a chance to medal. I mean, I mean, how do you really do that? You know, I, that's got to be tough. I mean, maybe there's less pressure on you, but still, it's kind of like uh, playing a uh, uh, a game five in the, in the NBA in the playoffs when you've already lost like four games, you know. Of course, they don't do that, but still, I mean, that would be weird, you know. So, uh, my, my thoughts are that I'm a little surprised that Abbott uh, skated so poorly. Johnny Weir, I'm glad. Uh, he did pretty much what I thought he would do. I'm just worried that maybe Weir might have a disastrous long program or one or the other. Uh, he, I've been worried about his consistency, but uh, he, he did a pretty good job. I'm still rooting for the Russian guy. I mean, I, I just like this guy. I mean, he seems to have more personality than Evan. Not that I'm knocking Evan. He's an American. And, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, you're, you know, I don't think nationality is really that important that, to me anymore. It, it used to be a time where I was always rooting for the American and, you know, I want Team USA to win. But, I mean, I don't really see the point of that anymore. Now I'm more interested in the skills and the talent and the personality of the athlete. I, I don't really see the point of rooting for somebody just because they come from the same country as you. Uh, <laughs> or rooting against somebody because of that. Because, for example, in uh, ladies figure skating, Kim, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her skate. She's uh, from China. Uh, Three years ago, I didn't think I would be rooting for a Chinese female skater, but, you know, I, I, I like her rendition of that James Bond perform, uh, song. She did a James bond S performance, and I thought it was kind of cool. I started to really like her. So, I mean, nationality doesn't mean that much anymore to me. Right now, I'm more interested in skill and personality. Speaking of which, the Canadian ice dance team, uh, Virtue and Amour, Tessa Virtue and um, Scott Amour, uh, I don't know if they're a couple off ice, but watching them skate is amazing. I mean, you sort of get the feeling that they really are a couple. The chemistry between the two. There's a lot of talented teams out there, but they don't have that chemistry that these two have. You know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's fun to watch. You know, it's not just a competition when you watch those two. So, 
I really want them to skate well. Uh, they're a really, really likable couple. Uh, speaking of ice stands, Meryl uh, Davis and Charlie White are pretty much the best Americans we have. Well, they're pretty close with Tanneth Belvin and Ben Augusto, but I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, at this point, it looks like uh, the Russians are going to have a gold medal. But, I mean, the Russian uh, Patenko, Patenko, he his footwork and the way he dances is, is not as fluid as a lot of the other dances. It's not as... Uh, uh, it's not as fluid as Evan or any of the other skaters. So, I mean, that could really hurt him if Evan skates very well in the long program. So, we'll see. All right, guys. This is Dimcad. Have a good day. Bye.